the English Riviera, Torquay. For over a hundred years, one of Britain's favorite seaside holiday destinations, home to some of the country's finest hotels. And this one. Silence, Christian, Christian. Is he silent? Yeah. Welcome to the Grosvenor. Mount your dolphin, get set. At the helm, manager Mark. I don't pay the AA anymore. I've awarded it three stars. Long-suffering deputy, Christian. The Grosvenor is different to other hotels. And I'm not blowing my trumpet here, but I think it's because I'm there. And unflappable reservations manager, Alison. Stop it! I've done it already! Just put them in! Have you had the good news? You're leaving, possibly, though? Together, they have one summer to save this loss-making hotel. We have to win. Failure yeah. is not an option. Not, not an option. By satisfying the demands of the great British public. Who flock here for summer holiday fun. Bringing all their baggage with them. It's everything, not just a room, it's the hotel itself. <laughs> you know, when I go on holiday, would I stay in this hotel? <laughs> My answer to that is um, the directors and owners of Primark probably don't wear Primark clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Checking into the hotel this week. Oh. The coach parties are in town. Cowboy! Oh, <laughs> Lisa and Luke have their hands full with 11 year old Basher. What part of give me five minutes didn't you understand? The Grosvenor is bursting at the seams. We're overbooked. Well, OK, I wouldn't panic. Well, yeah, I would panic. Well, what's your panic? And the hotel's old-fashioned booking system is feeling the strain. I've got 88 staff. Nobody likes computers. Your no, textbook, put no, it there, no, flip it. No. Jehovah, give me strength. It's the customers that are confusing us by wanting to be able to book online. On a packed coach somewhere on the M6, driver Alan Myring is heading for Torquay. Thank you, Thank you, Accompanying Alan on this trip is his wife of 40 years, Barbara. I get stressed out driving. I hate any form of travel, whether it be a plane, coach. I do not like serious? it. I get very stressed out. I couldn't cope going away constantly because it would drive me insane. The green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. Oh, yeah. Right, we don't have computers here. Right, we're full. And then the weekend, we're 100% full, every single room again. It's a lot more difficult to make a mistake when you're physically writing in, ink, in a coloured ink than it is to just click a button on a computer screen, you know? Click a button on a computer, that person can disappear forever. I would be much happier if they'd never invented computers, to be quite honest, you know? As far as I'm concerned, cards, different coloured pens, bottles of Tipex, works perfectly every time. Would Far less mistakes. Well, OK, let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to be 139 per person, bed and breakfast. Yeah, it's very busy because we've got a coach in, so you need to get back to us as soon as possible, yes. At the moment, we haven't got many, though. All right. Hello. We must be the only hotel of, of our size in the country that doesn't have online bookings. But the, the Tipex and Highlighter Pen system works if people phone us and make a booking. When is Monday? Monday, probably. It's, a, it's a Monday to Friday. It's four nights we need. I don't know why you're looking at it, because you're looking at exactly the same thing I'm looking at. We're overbooked by a triple room, three single beds. Okay. We're overbooked. Yeah. Find me a room. It is with possible. Three... OK. If you could do it, I'll give you a pound. Right, OK. Yeah, now I can do this. Yeah, easy. It is possible, honestly. There it is. If you can do it, do it. OK, just a minute. So we're going to move four, four, six to 
Look over the Sorry, page. Wait. I'm not bothered. Over the page is fine. No, it isn't fine. No, it's fine. It isn't That's because it isn't. Actually, it's not that simple. No, it isn't. See, look, so he can do it, Jill, but he can't. can't I can, it's just a bit harder, that's all. It's not that simple, that's all. Why are they in there, then, if they're not meant to be? And they've got the key. No, 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 when... And that means if they're awake... Hang on, hang on. But their paperwork says two nights. Oh, for sake. Oh, so we can't put them in 222, then? The sheet's only right, the sheet's only been done right. I want to go home. The two rooms, open it. (laughs) This is a nightmare. I need to buy some cigarettes. Yes, you do. Hang on, stay here a second. Hello, sir. Hello. We've virtually... Res- I do apologise for yeah. the confusion. Could I start to the holiday? But, yeah, no, 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 I agree. It's, it, it, it's a complete nightmare. We, we have resolved it. OK, to, to, to a fashion. It, it, it's a bit confusing. Can I just come up to reception with you? Because I just want to just talk to a few figures. Right. We, we, let, let me tell you where we are. All right, th- th- there has been a complete cock up, for want of a better word, okay? Um, we have got room for you to stay here for seven nights. Do, do you know what I mean? That, that's the main thing. We've got half a headache for tonight, and then as from tomorrow, we're fine. What, um, what, what, I, what, what I was going to suggest is just for tonight, I've got two, they're quite nice rooms, we can show them to you, adjoining rooms with a door. Do, do you know what I mean? So, like an adjoining two rooms, okay? For tonight, um, but what I was going to do, because um, the balance would be a thousand and forty-seven fifty. Thousand forty. Yeah, was make that eight hundred. Is, is that all right? I'd like to speak to my wife. It's, so, sorry, I don't know you. Sorry, know. it's Mark. Yeah. Mark, yeah. We're, we've Mark, sort of just. Mark's the sorry. Owner of, do you want to sit down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you sit, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I apologise. Honestly, yeah. this yeah. isn't what I do. Please accept my apologies again for the last oh, hour or so. If we can start again. Welcome to the Grosvenor. My name's Mark. <laughs> really nice to meet you. Welcome oh, to the Grosvenor. <laughs> no, you, you'll have a great time. Have you seen the swimming pool? You can break people down, you know? I set the price that gives us, hopefully, the 100% occupancy. Most hotels would be happy to achieve 70% occupancy. For us, we'd go out of business. Right, we're on. It's a bit like the sort of supermarket thing, you know, sort of stack it high, sell it cheap. So many room changes I've had to do. I don't understand those sheets. That's why you're here, do you? (laughs) <laughs> You're the queen of the sheets. And I'm just the queen in between in the between sheets. In between the sheets. Yes. I think if I was running the Grosvenor, um, I'd like to think it'd be a bit different. I do like to lead by example. And I take great care of making sure everything I do is adhered to properly. Well, you've got Dave Allen in this afternoon, haven't you? Yeah. Great that's joy. That's going to be a good... It's going to be a good week, hopefully. He's, uh, he's even louder than his waistcoats. Oh. Right, coaches here. I don't like to use the word coaches. It's a tour. I think coaching holidays almost cheapens it. Good afternoon, welcome to a sunny, t- well, sunny-ish Turkey and to the Grosvenor Hotel. The best part of the coaching holidays are the people. So many different characters and surprisingly from all different walks of life. And on the whole, they're here to have fun. Uh, you see her? Orange Jenny. Who? Christian. Oh, the fella who came on. Yeah, he is. But then again, you could say, what is the worst part of the tours and the coaches? It's the people. Hi, buddy. You're a young man. Hi, how are you doing? <sighs> Just get me out of here. How's my favourite wee basher? Hello there. He wants you to look at his hairy eyes. I can see it. It's very smart. Basher. Actually, that is very right? smart. Oh. I like it. I like the ponytail. It's very 80s. <gasps> it's very now. Very 80s. Ooh. OK, mate. Thank you very much. 
Eleven-year-old Basher is on holiday with his mum, Lisa, and stepdad, Luke. Where's the TV, then? Oh, it'll be in there. It'll be in that posh cupboard. Just be careful. We've been together for five years, haven't we? Yeah, January um, 2007, we got together. Um, I took Basher over to the pub over the road for a weekly tea, and uh, Luke happened to be in there, and that was it. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, five years later. Is that where you're sleeping then, is it? I don't think so. I can remember the first time I met my dad. I was in bed and I, I heard the dog go. My mum got back and I walked downstairs and then he was there. And that's the first time I ever met him. What did you think? Um, he looked nice and then he turned out to be really nice. Stand there, sir. I mean, he calls me dad now, but he didn't at the beginning of our relationship when I met him. And, yeah, you were pretty joked by it, weren't you? Yeah. That he'd come out with it himself, and and he tells people as well, like, straight away, meet me dad, meet me dad, and it's lovely, really nice. We are! Just be careful. What part of... Give me five minutes to <laughs> kick back, didn't you understand? Did you get my leg <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Just give me five, okay? Oh, we're playing. Yeah, but I didn't want to at you, that particular point. Yeah, did Dad have to tell you anything? So, when I'm good and ready, it's cool. Welcome to the Rosbener. Where the hell's the Rosbener? <laughs> the G fell off. It's in the bottom. That <laughs> just about sums it up, really. And I'm not Welsh. And it shouldn't be Dave Allen Tours. It should be everybody. <laughs> I've been driving coaches for 30 years. I really, really do love it. And the, um, the thrill of being with people, the thrill of um, seeing people enjoying themselves. Making people laugh is important to me as you know that they're enjoying themselves, uh, they're having fun. Um, and being a scouser, we've got to make people laugh. Cowboy! That one. <laughs> oh, hang on. Do you want proper cowboy? Oh, that's a bit right. Uh, I first met Mark and we just had a wonderful, um, explosive um, meeting with each other and loved each other's ideas and, um, and it just escalated from there in a most wonderfulest way. Alan is a nightmare. He's great with his guests. Not sure about the other ones. <laughs> no, we don't let him in the bar, funnily enough. Can you imagine what it would be like if we did? <laughs> with the hotel already full with fun-loving guests, Mark and Alison try to manage the rest of the bookings. Right. So, I'll tell you what to do. Take one... Listen to me. Sorry. Take one of those. To 215. Put them into 104. Go okay. on. You can do it. Come on. Listen, you, you don't even know you what you're doing. You've rubbed it out. I've so done it. OK, stop. I'm, I'm going to write it for you. Where am I writing it? I don't want you to write anything yet. Put James into there. Listen, stop it. I've done it already. Oh, Just put them in. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> Yo, yo! No, I don't want to catch the rugby ball. Get out the door. No, not till we get down here. Uh, why is he called Basher? Over to you. I think because he's built a little bit bigger um, and always has been. He's got a bigger head. He's quite happy to admit that he's got a fat head. And I think it's like the bash of the head. And you knew when he come and give you a little headbutt in your leg. And it, it just stuck. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Nearly took the seagull out. <laughs> yeah. That's what like, put me off it. I'm not his biological dad. However, um, as far as I'm concerned, it, it just doesn't come into a 
question. I guess our relationship is that close that I, I don't really think about it being anything other than it is, you know. Um, he's my little pal. Go on, Dad. No, that was poor. Poor from you or poor from the boy? Poor from me. Careful. I want to treat him like my father, not my stepfather. I want them to stay together because if they wouldn't, I wouldn't have as much stuff I have now. I wouldn't go to a rugby and that. Why do I say careful when I say it? Do you mean it? No, because what can I see? Something bad. Something bad. So when I say careful... Yeah. I've said it for a reason, haven't I? Look. Well, I said careful, because I knew that was a thorn book. Local sales rep Steve Leister has popped by. Having seen the Grosvenor's website, he thinks there might be room for modernisation. Which mark? Uh, the owner mark. That's me. Hello, your man. I'm my name, Steve. We're building mobile websites, which I looked at your website. Mobile websites? Well... Why do people need to take their website with them? It's not on the internet. Exactly. But you can't see yours on a phone, you see? That's the difference. OK, that's my phone. I, I can't even get. I can't even get the. I'm lucky if I get a phone call on my phone. You know. Um, no, I, I don't like computers and that. It's all nonsense. You know. Okay, I will walk out right now. But if ever yep. you change your mind, as an example, Fine. but if you look at your website on a on a phone, yeah, I'll just show you because one in five of your customers will be. That's that's good. No, statistics. they won't. And if, if they're looking... can, I, can I just tell you, the majority of my customers, yeah. okay, do not have the internet. No, fair enough. Right. If 70% of the population has the internet, 30% yep. of them are my customers. Also in Alan's coach party are Jimmy and Teresa from Merseyside. Um, 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 yes. Yes. Remember Emu, Emu, um, Rod Hull. Uh, oh, my God. He watched, um, the guitar. No, 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 no. Why go bed then? No, you can watch. It's funny. It's funny. You you can you can just see. On the phone is Mark's son Harry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Harry. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Have you had any cards? Not one. No, but why have you sent uh, me a card? No, I tried to yesterday, you know. I'm in trouble for not visiting Harry's flat. And, you know, he, he lives 30 miles away and he has done for sort of the last nine, ten months and I haven't been to see him yet. But he comes over to see me. Do you want to come over tonight? Okay. I get a taxi for six o'clock. It's no bother. All right. Okay. I'll, listen, right I'll, I'll knock it off your birthday money. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Listen, I'll see you later, OK? OK. All right, okay. bye. 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 <laughs> Do we sell birthday cards here? I need one for Harry. That's how you never start here. That won't work. Wedding, wedding. Not too girly. Wedding, wedding. Are there any boy ones? No. What's that? Old boy. What does that mean? Like, old boy. boy. Could I peel that bit off and write happy birthday on it, do you think? Yeah, see that I can just peel that bit off. Can we... Can I, have you got a pen? I hate leaving the hotel, e even just for an hour or so, because I know while I'm gone, you know, something's likely to happen, so it's just better if I don't leave, you know? I can't leave them alone. Not for five minutes, really. No, it's a personalised card. Wait a minute. It's just the arse smudged a bit, but it'll be all right. Perfect. See, I've got a card. Jimmy and Teresa met later on in life after a chance encounter. Before they met Jimmy, my new girl, my friend, 
Despite meeting in their 70s, they're still very much young at heart. Can I have my chair? Well, Pinchella's chair. No, come on, look, I think yeah, so. Look, You're just a part time You're having a laugh on you. I'm not sitting in that bloody thing. I need a birthday cake. You can buy one, just go up and buy no, one. No, but I want his name on it. It won't be the same otherwise. Better get on with it then, eh? Oh, hello. Can I have a cake, please? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> hello, my name's Mark. Can I have a cake, please? Oh, hi, it's um, Mark here, phoning from, from uh, the Groves in Belgrave Road. Um, you know your little birthday cakes you do? Have you got a blue one, a, sm a very small blue one knocking about? <laughs> yeah, from yesterday. Um, can it say, Happy Birthday, Harry, H-A-R-R-Y? Superb. OK, thanks very much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hi, yeah. Hello. All right. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, long time to no you. see. Happy yeah. birthday to you. I don't think you're sleeping here. We haven't got a room. Oh, good. It's good, isn't it? He wasn't cut out to be a dad because he, I don't know, because he, he won't or can't make the time. But, um, you know, it, it, that's not necessarily a detriment against him. I think I would spend more time with my kids. You know, I, I don't want it to, to sound like he didn't spend any time with me, but I, I wish he'd spent more. Upstairs, Luke, Lisa and Basher are getting ready for this evening's entertainment. Don't at all move about, OK, while I'm doing it. Feel the heat and the hair touches your neck. He does get a lot of attention because of his hair and I think he likes that as well. Mm. You know, everybody knows who it is. A standing out, being different from the crowd, I think every child would like that. If they can do it in their own little way, and Bash's way is with his hairdo. Look in the mirror. Sit like that. Um, she's stylish. Okay. I like it. Looks nice. That's got to go before rugby starts. Yeah. No, it's no, it's got to go before rugby starts. Why? Is there something in the rule book that says no long hair? No, because yeah. I've seen him on the telly with long hair. I certainly wouldn't have been allowed to have had that style of hair when I was growing up. The ponytail and... didn't go down very well with the men in the house. No, the ponytail didn't. Jimmy's... Imagine if we're late for rugby. Jimmy's going to love that. Oh, Dan, I've got to straighten my hair. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm straightening my hair. Yeah, then roll. He's got the hair clip to make it stick, make sure it stays outside my shirt and doesn't go in. I can plait that. Can I go in your plait? No, I won't plait it now, but I can do. <sighs> Bloody Astros always feel fit to crap. So how are you? You all right? Um, yeah, I'm OK. Writing a book. I talked about it last time. Um, don't try and remember, you probably won't. No, I know. Go on. No. What's it about? Um, have you ever read, like... No, you haven't. No. I've never <laughs> no, read a book. I've never read a book. No. I've never read a book. No. Um, it's sort of like a tongue-in-cheek Lord of the Rings. It's, it's quite funny. Um, then, well, you're, all, you're, you're shrugging because you no, don't know what I've no, written, but... No, no, you know, no. It's, okay, it's actually so, going so, really well. So, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm only shrugging because it, it's not simple to get a book published and, and sell copies of it. No, of course it's mean? not. I need to take it to a publisher and an editor, but... I do worry that he hasn't started anything. I'm, I'm sort of impatient for him, you know? Um, that I, you know, I want him to be doing something. I mean, you know, at his age, 22. By 22, I'd bought a house, lost it. I'd had two failed businesses. I'd run off to America and come back. I'd had a bit of a life. I'm not expecting to have someone give me an advance and say, oh, here's a million quid, finish off the book. Really? Yeah, I yeah. would. But if I can say, you know... I did when I was I your age. I think he'd like me to sort of reflect well on him. Like, you know, look, at, look how well my, my kid's doing. And, you know, that reflects well on me. 
which makes it sound like it's quite selfish, but, you know, it's, I suppose that's a large part of why a lot of people have kids, is, you know, you want to live vicariously through them, don't you? I thought we'd go out for a nice meal somewhere special. So we go in the inn. Surreptitiously telling me we're going to the Grosvenor, the Grosvenor restaurant. For the coach parties, it's a night of unique entertainment. Have you seen him? Say him. Rod Hull retired, there was room in the market for a man-bird <laughs> combo. And he's, he's comfortably filled that void, I think. Well, it's not a bird, it's a, it's a horse. Oh, is it? Oh, I missed that. Yeah, can't you see? The people coming in on the coaches expect entertainment every night. They've saved all year, they want to be entertained, they're looking for the positive, they're not looking for the negative. You can tell he hasn't got much of a voice at all in real life. You know, he's just, get, he's just picking on songs well, and getting away with it. The point is to be entertaining. Well, he's he's an entertainer, it? that's yeah. what he is. He's not a singer, is he? Would you like to come and eat? This is like being in a real restaurant, isn't it? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> well, not quite. <laughs> um, Harry might need a menu, but I don't. I'm going to have a steak. Do you want a steak? Yeah, I think so. I thought you were going to have fish. Got a big one. Yeah, I'm going to have a few scampi with mistake. Tell me not what a scampi is. It's chicken nugget that tastes of fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Happy birthday to oh, you. Oh, dear. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Are you looking surprised? Uh, yeah, I'm looking Happy birthday, surprised. dear Harry. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Hooray. Come on. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray. Right, Harry, there's yeah. the knife. OK. There you go. When's the stripper getting here? <laughs> <laughs> Christian! <laughs> I got a card for you. Oh, brilliant. See, you didn't have a card. Don't no, get excited, I... there's nothing in it. No, no, it's, well, hopefully a card's <laughs> in it. But, no, I didn't get any cards this I morning. know, how could you not get one card? It doesn't bother me, I don't... Yeah, but I it's mean, just a bit... If you're going to spend money to a card manufacturer, you might as well send it to a charity or something, you know? It's... I stole that card. <laughs> Bash can be very grumpy in the morning, yeah. Um, he likes his sleep. But, yeah, you've got to sort of make it a bit of a game. It's usually a three-stage thing. One, get his awareness, although he tries to pretend he's asleep. Yeah. Two, it's duvet off. And then three, the physical, just sit him up and, you know, make him aware that it's time to get up. Come on, better get up now, because we've got to have breakfast. It's early leaving today. One, two. <laughs> it must be exhausting. Don't you just want to go get up, that's it, end the conversation? Yeah. Yes. I'm not very good in the morning because if my mum tells me or my dad tells me to get up, I'll say, can I have five minutes more? And then I don't get up five minutes later. <laughs> It's too early in the bloody morning for this. We haven't got a cowboy builder, but we've got a cowboy coach driver. Now, this is an emergency package for... Unbelievable. Oh. Elaine, help, it's too early in the morning. No, it's never too early. It is. We it's have to be up bloody early. early. How long have you been together? Um, nearly 40 years. <laughs> Which, I suppose it's very strange in today's environment. But it is the fact that we do actually have time away. We're not in each other's pockets 24 hours a day. And yet, 
I suppose it is like two life sentences. I could have murdered him twice and had three meals a day and have my own telly and no stress, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> What was this then? It's, it's for you. It's stress management, you mate. It's for an emergency. <laughs> Look. A tie that says grumpy old gear. Don't you think that'll suit him? He usually gets a bar humbug hat at Christmas. Come on, dude. I like what you're thinking. Come on, you've been up once, you've been up twice, let's go. No! Come on, I'm not Manager Mark has reluctantly conceded it's time to upgrade the hotel's website and has called in a local internet expert for a meeting. What happened is, is two years ago, they turned off teletext. Yeah, that was a good... Thing. Now, I used to get between 120 and 140 phone calls a week. So I know I have to do online booking. We, we had a big panic and tried to get it up and running for this year, yeah. um, but we still haven't connected up with any online booking sites because nobody knows how to do it. Because I'm a bit computer phobic, it gives me a headache just thinking of it. Mm. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, this is one of the few it. manual sort of havens left. Do, do you know what I mean? Where it's done manually rather than computerized. Yeah. So I have to have a good one website that is sort of slick, modern, easy to use, and encourages people the minute they find it to go to online, to book online. Right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that all right? Absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to move forward with the times, you know? I mean, I'd much rather not do computerised or online bookings. I, 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 I think the manual system is far safer. Badge. Five minutes, OK? It's definitely hard there, because I can do what I want. We haven't got as much things to do, like get up, go to school and get changed and stuff. And on holiday, I can just relax in bed and that. Basher's lazy weekend break is nearly over. I see the future going very well for us. Yeah, Bash is happy for us to stay together. He's got his mum and dad and life's good. Yeah, he's got a nice little life. We all have. Mm. Yeah, life's complete now, I think. And... Agree with me, love. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> See you then. Drive carefully. See ya. Hello. Baxendale. It's room number three. Thank you. From Wigan, the Baxendale family have arrived in Torquay for their summer holiday. Yeah. <laughs> this is lovely. Pigeons, peck, pick, potter, on the life of Liverpool on every corner. A week by the sea gives them precious rehearsal time for an upcoming musical back home. We do perform in, uh, say, semi-professional for us, these two. Um, they're playing bands. Still so. yet to decide what they're going to do, haven't you? Yeah. Pigeons, peck, pick, potter, and... Are you singing, Adam? I'm singing the opening number. She walks around as the dancing with the trolley. Me and Dad show bogeys. 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 The staff are preparing a Hawaiian-themed pool party for Alan and his coach tour. They expect from me fun and games, entertainment, that uh, a normal coach driver just wouldn't do. And so you've got to have a product that people want, and that's something that you've got to create. Right, good afternoon, everyone. The sun's coming back out. Hooray! I would much rather have, um, you know, a coach load of sort of normal, happy people um, that, than a dozen sort of, say, guardian readers who might come in and sort of look down their nose at things. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I wanted a skirt. I think people have lost what it meant to be British. Going somewhere like the Grosvenor 
which is a traditional seaside holiday. And people that we've taken, even the families this year, um, that have been away with us, it's back to what we do best. Dolphins, can you be mounted, please? Race number one, go! Here we go, come on, wind them in, come on, give them a cheer. Shout for your dolphin. Dolphin racing adds an extra dimension. It's part of the British way of life that we need to keep. This could be your moment, here we go, ready, steady. Yes, we have a winner! Blimey. Come here, what's your name? Megan. It's Megan, where are you from? England. <laughs> Right. Anyone here from England? <laughs> In Mark's brave new world, the Grosvenor's booking system is finally online. We've actually had our very first online booking, um, and I'm really, really excited. I would have been excited, except they turned up today to stay for the weekend, the very first online booking we've ever managed to take, um, and unfortunately, we're full. <laughs> Mr Reynolds, we have a slight problem. Uh. We have a room for you. However, when you, because you booked online, and we had a glitch in our computer system, and... It's sold a room that it shouldn't have. Oh, right. Um, we've had our system upgrade, or in the process of upgrading, and one programme wasn't talking to the other. Right. So we thought we had a room available, and it didn't. Right. Um, I have a room at the Kista, which is just across the road. Right. Um, Mr Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. We're, what we're going to do for you, since it's a... Uh, uh, yes, we are. <laughs> we are. We're going to be very charming. <laughs> we're going to do you at £35 a night. We're going to do it per person. We're going to throw in dinner as well. We've got your nice sea view room across the road. Okay. Um, and hopefully it will try and yeah, suffice I just said, for the mistake. Upgrading the computer system. They just We've just started this whole internet booking. Oh, I and see. it's it's and it got confused. <laughs> 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 it is getting it a little bit confused. <laughs> com. This is true. But um, like we say, we have got your nice room over there. Okay. Nice Thank views. And, and we'll give you dinner and we'll do it at a lesser rate than you were charged. Oh, here. Okay. Okay. So the Your first online, online book, no, booking has cost us a fortune. Bookings were nothing to do with me. Let's get that one across, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to look like stupid, like I don't know how to do my job, yeah? I do know how to do my job, not to do with me. I'm just past that information. They're happy. That's the main thing. Right, yeah. excuse me. No, out of the way. Let me go. Let me show you. I, I have the technology. I'll help, honestly. If I thought I'd be useless, I wouldn't even offer. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. Right, look. Where, where look. does it let you go look. from... It does... No, uh, look, seriously, I've Christian. I've got 13 minutes. I know, look, Just that's a stupid program. It's simple. It's, I'm doing simples. it simples. Jesus Christ. In your capacity of reservations no. manager, Here we go. maybe you should be taking over the role of looking after the online bookings mm. well, as well. Well, maybe that you should lighten my workload and give some more to someone else, and then I can do that. I but can't you're do the everything. manager, isn't that your job to control No, you control told me I didn't workload. have to do the online... I'm not having this conversation. You told me I didn't have to do the online bookings, that somebody would do that from here. Well, we haven't got anybody to do it. Well, you better employ someone. In the back office, Mark has unearthed a 30-year-old bingo machine left behind by the hotel's previous owners. It looks ancient. Doesn't matter, it does the job. <laughs> it's much better that everybody hates these new mechanics. Do, do you know what I mean? These computerised ones, yeah. you know? Boys and toys. Excuse me? Does <laughs> he even get late and everything? I know, it's brilliant and it works. But I'm going to unveil it tonight. Finger. Right, I need permanent marker though because Black. we haven't got a 62 or an 83. I was worried they're slightly bigger, but they're not. Oh, no, they are, they're slightly bigger. But it still comes out, doesn't it? No! Oh, it's not gonna work. What are you having, babe? Cider, please. Can I have a small rose as well? <laughs> I always wanted to go and do musical theatre, which is why when these two were born, we decided that they, they would both start dancing when they were three. Yeah. The 
they both do musicals now and shows and recently I went back to it I had a bit of a midlife crisis and decided I was sick to death of watching the kids and not being in the shows <laughs> Start again. Hi, you guys. Listen, Talkie has only just gained electricity, let alone the internet. <laughs> we, 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 are, we, are, we are a little bit behind here, but that's why it's such a perfect place to come for a holiday. Does that make sense? <laughs> Until Mark and Alison can master internet bookings, it's back to the old faithfuls, Tipex, coloured pens and mountains of paper. Well, this is all this is a nightmare. This book and you took, Turton, you didn't even put in a book, Mark. No, no, hang on. Because somebody you... changed these into yeah. twins yeah. instead of doubles. Yeah, because they're more practical as twins, because you can you join them up and make them in doubles. No, on no, because, no, no, because... No, no, no. You've got... No, stop. Half of these yeah, bloody whatever. rooms... Let me you, finish, no, please. Half of the rooms you've got, you've only got two people in there, and it might be a family room, the way it's gone in, so we can yeah. steal a bed out of their bed. Well, you can get on with it, because I'm not here. We can do this. We just need to sort out... No, not we. You. Yeah, I can do it. I'll yeah, move right. it in a minute. I only have two rules anyway. The answer is yes, and do it now. All this bed's out of bed. It's a load of <laughs> We have a bed like that. a carpet. Bloody pants. End up. What's this heavy? Somebody in here? Oh, got me hanging on the cast. I can't go that way. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I know. Gentlemen of our profession, don't say stole. It ain't polite. Means that, though, don't it? Oh, you've got to sniff in between that. Means that, though, don't it? How do you do that? What? Sniff? You do that? Take it across, and while you're doing that, you make the noise while that bit's hiding your mouth. <laughs> so you're not do No, get your hand under your nose, right? And while your hand is hiding your mouth, <laughs> do that. That's it. So it's not your nose making the noise, it's your mouth. OK? <laughs> right then, ladies and gentlemen. Bingo has become a little bit confused in recent times with all this technology, would you agree? It's not the same, is it? Now, I found something quite magical. Now, you're going to like this, OK? Ladies and gentlemen, I've got bingo balls! Yeah. How exciting is that? <laughs> and they're here, look, they're real ones. Look, look! <laughs> OK, so we're all fit and ready to go in the traditional style, which means I can pop them down. And here we go. How exciting is that? Get, let's have a round of applause. Seven and five, 75. I think what I offer um, is quite classic and, and maybe even a little bit retro, you know, that the whole... I think I'm trying to sort of give a little bit of nostalgia um, and sort of relaunch my own version of the Great British Holiday. Here we go. Whether they're singing on karaoke or whether they're riding a dolphin, an extra sort of holiday experience. Everyone on their feet, here we go. I, I think it's about creating an atmosphere. I think it's great when you've got sort of guests um, that, you know, sort of make friends while they're on holiday. Strange, you know, they, they come from all parts of the country, they meet up in the hotel, they, they didn't know each other before, um, and I've had situations where then they'll want to rebook and come back and meet up again at the same time the next year, and, and I think that's great. Come on, last chance, all together. to head back to Liverpool for Jimmy and Teresa. Would you ever consider getting married? No. Mr. Mom, you know, 
<laughs> For Alan and the rest of his coach party, it's the end of another fun-packed week. You've only got one life. This isn't a rehearsal, you know, and you've got to enjoy it to the best of your ability. At the end of the day, if I've helped to put a smile on somebody's face, then I've done my job. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Next time on The Hotel. Are you single ladies? I know you've got a child, but it's singles night if you've ever got the time. <laughs> Topless bar star, <laughs> exotic dancers, <laughs> bring it on. A singles night doesn't work if you just attract a load of men to come and get pissed at two pound a pint. It's going to create a stir. It's going to create something. Gay, straight, bi, doesn't matter. Black, yellow, red, it's going to be a cracking night. You don't take a female that's a guest in the hotel anywhere. Funny enough, you're in a frog. It's not offensive gay. Hotel manager Mark is standing by right now to answer your questions in a Twitter Q&A. Get involved by sending your questions.